is ask honeybee.blogspot.com. Now, this interview is very special to me, and I'm going to title it A Mother's Love. On the phone is actually my mom, and she agreed to do an interview with me today. Now, the purpose of this interview is to strictly show how people can have a difference of views, but at the end of the day, I'm her daughter, and she still loves me, and that's why I call it A Mother's Love. Say hi to everybody, Mom. Hi, everybody. Okay. Now, everybody knows that my mom is the number one person in my life. And without her, I don't know where I would be. So we're going to talk openly about my sexuality today. And the reason that I'm actually um, allowing my mom and my relationship to uh, be public is not in any way to exploit our relationship, but it's just to show the bond that we have. And hopefully this will help some people out if a mother is listening or if someone else is listening and they're having a hard time trying to um, talk with their parent. Now, um, to start it off, Mom, um, how was I, what was I like growing up as a child? How was my personality? You've always been a very strong, opinionated girl, and you grew from that girl into a very strong, opinionated woman, knowing who she is. I knew from a long time ago that you were someone special, not just because you were my daughter, but I watched you as you grew, and you you just, I, I can't put it into words how mature you were as a child, and then now as an adult, it's, it's almost overwhelming to watch you now and to, to just look at you. You are one of, probably one of the most smartest people that I know. Oh, thank you, Mommy. So You're welcome, sweetie. What, what would you say, what would be a proud moment, if you could name anything really quick that stood out to you from when I was a child? Mm, I have so many, but going through what I went through, and you, I went through, a, you know what I went through, being married, and it, it wasn't good, but to see you handle that and to talk to me like you were an adult and let me know that, you know, Mom, this is not the right thing to do. You're, you're not making good choices. And I know that had to be hard for you to say to me, and it was hard for me to accept coming from you being my daughter and you being a child. But in a lot of ways, you made me who I am today because I still could be stuck in a a bad, bad place. But seeing you just grow and grow and grow, and I had to look back and say, Shelly, what are you doing? Look, look at your children. They, they need something more because you were more. I was more than that, and you deserve more from me. So for you to talk to me and tell me that the choices I was making was wrong, and, and, and I knew but to hear it come out of your mouth, that meant more to me than anything. And I thank you for that. I love you. Now, what's, I love you, too. Let's fast forward. And as an adult, would you say that I, mm -hmm. you, I know that you know I have a, a strong personality, but what stands out mm -hmm. to you, something that's in my adult life? you not. People can say that. Words don't hurt, but yes, they do. They hurt, hurt harder than any lick you can take. But you take it and keep moving. What people say to you, you might, it, it may bother you, but in the end, you're going to make your own choices. And that, and that's what I admire about you. You don't let what somebody else says, anybody, me included, you may take it into consideration, but ultimately, the, Whatever choice that you choose is going to be yours. And that's what, that's one of the most positive things that I can say about you. You're not going to just settle. Okay, great. You always want more. Okay. Now, a lot of people, and I know we spoke about this a lot, a, not, a lot of people don't have the support that I have. And I am internally grateful 
when I meet people who are against or objective to my lifestyle that I'm living as a gay woman, my comeback, uh-huh. my um, my rebuttal is if my mom loves me and my mom accepts me, that's the only person who matters. And to know that I have that backbone and that support, that's all that I can ask for. Now, rewind to about two or three years back. I came to you and I made up a scenario and I said, what if one of your children were gay? And to be quite honest, you said, I wouldn't like it at all. And I wouldn't, I don't know how I would deal with it. Now, mm-hmm. I knew I knew the feelings that I had back then, but I wasn't mature enough or I wasn't, um, I wasn't able to be comfortable enough telling you that this is the choice that I decided to live. So I kind of came up with that. So do you remember that mm-hmm. time that I asked you that? No, really, I don't. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, I've Mm -hmm. asked you that. But growing up, I always remember saying, little. if somebody made a remark or something about gays, I would always be like, you shouldn't say that. Or you shouldn't say that. And even dealing with it. But you had that opinion about anybody. You had that opinion about race, Mm -hmm. about sexuality. You had an opinion about everything that wasn't, I can't say, white or wrong, but... If people had an opinion about somebody, that was just their opinion. Mm-hmm. And you've always said that don't call people this or don't call people that. Right. You've always been like that ever since you were a child. And I pride myself in being an advocate for everyone, not just, you know, mm-hmm. gay people or black or white. I, I mm-hmm. never like people talking negatively about anybody just because of the way they mm-hmm. look or the way they choose to live mm-hmm. their life. Now, uh-huh. um, Getting even a little bit more deeper, when I decided to live my life as a gay woman, I didn't immediately come to you. And I don't think that it w- it's a negative thing that I didn't immediately come, nor nor 100% positive. I had to come to you in the way that I felt comfortable. But I love, from the bottom of my heart, that you knew me as your daughter, that you knew even mm-hmm. without words how I had chose to live my life. And you would ask mm-hmm. me, Brandy, do we have something to talk about? Do we have something to talk about? And I would always be like, I wouldn't say no, but I would just be like, mind your business. So what made you think that I was dating women? I, I didn't know you were, but I just knew it was something. I couldn't put my finger on it, but I just knew it was something that wasn't Brandy. The Brandy that I knew. Okay. It, 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 was, it was not... I can't say it was something that you were hiding, but it was something that you wanted to tell me, but I can't say that you, you didn't know how I would react, but I knew it was something, but I just couldn't get, put my finger on it until you were ready. That's why I kind of, you know, backed off, but I always knew it was something. And did you know the I just crowd did, changed? I just didn't know. You know. Did you notice the crowd, the type of people that I was hanging out with also? Within the last year, I did. Other than that, I did. I can't even say it was a year before mm-hmm. you told me. Within the last like six months. No, it's but been then a year. again, it's been a year. No, but then again, I can't say then because you've always had friends, no matter who they are, or what they were. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I didn't know. Let's ask honeybee.blogspot.com. now.